This is CW33 News at 9. A doctor said to take desperate measures to save a man's best friend. He accidentally shot his dog in the face while they were out hunting. CW33's Norris Dejan joins us now live in the newsroom with a heartwarming story. Norris? Yeah, Terry, after two hours of surgery and nine days of recovery in the hospital, that dog is just fine now. Uh, he doesn't look the same, but he and his owner, they don't seem to care one bit about that. Come on, get it. Come on. This two-year-old chocolate lab named Duke doesn't hesitate to jump in the water and fetch. Pretty amazing since Duke is missing much of his face. It's the result of a tragic hunting accident in late September. I started leading the bird and I fired the first shot and didn't hit the bird. So I turned just a hair more and quickly went to fire again. At that time, Duke had come right up under me and jumped straight up and bit onto the barrel at the very second that the gun fired. Duke was badly hurt and bleeding heavily, but Collins says he didn't whine a bit as they traveled from one vet's office to the next trying to get help. I'm so proud of Duke for uh, being such a trooper. Collins ended up at the Dallas Veterinary Surgical Center in South Lake, where doctors weren't sure at first whether they could help Duke. You couldn't go to a book and read about this, or you couldn't, um, uh, you couldn't call somebody up who had done this before. It was something that we had to figure out on our own. After looking at x-rays, Franks thought if they removed the damaged tissue and reconstructed a new nose and upper lip, Duke might be able to live a normal life. She asked Collins if he was willing to pay to take that chance, and he felt he owed that to Duke. But he was uncertain about one thing. Once he came out of the hospital, I wanted to see if he still loved me the way I love him. And he does. He does. And, and for that, I'm, I'm good to go. I'm good. I'm, I'm real good. I'm great. So is Duke. As you can see, he's now active and playful, and he can eat and drink on his own. It's the best money I've ever spent. And uh, I'll stand by that any day of the week. Dr. Frank says helping people who have that kind of love for their pets is the reason why she became a vet. They didn't really care what it cost. They loved this dog to them. And you can't put a price on that.